energy wave on 5 September. Okay, let's see this together. I think this would be according to the slope line and a horizontal line. We, we make an extension right here. Okay, I think it started here, for example. And the horizontal one, it started from here. So we'll have to focus on this part. If you are going to focus at the end, of this part after it took a several of waves so you will have to take in your consideration okay we have to minimize the chart it's going to be this part of this slot line but we are going to have that the start from here which is the end of the intersection of the first stop line and this is the second stop line one. So we will ignore the first one, which it was going to make an intersection between trend line and the slope line here. It's going to be deleted here. And then this going to be to the next one, which is a part where it started to make a bound and it should make an increase in momentum here. But I think every time it should be taken in consideration this part would make an intersection and every time a horizontal line which making an intersection with a slip line makes a start of a new process but it's not going to be always happening. 50% happening. Okay, if it's that happening, you should know that it's going to make a small increase in momentum and then a huge increase in momentum or small movement in momentum or it's being rebounded like this and it's starting to make a wave and this wave is going to be smaller and smaller that's what we actually wanted to explain on energy wave crypto